Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the columns, there are no loads. In the beam BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. The height of the columns is 4 meter. Length of the beam is also 4 meter. This frame is a non sway type frame because we have symmetrical loading and symmetrical dimensions. Now let us find the fixed end moments. In the columns AB and CD, there are no loads. So the fixed end moments M of AB, M of BA, M of CD and M of DC are 0. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the beam BC. In the beam BC, there is UDL. 9 kN per meter, it is acting for the full span. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 9, L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now let us find the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame. We know that this is a non-sway type frame. In this frame, in the joint B, we have the slope theta B and in the joint C, we have the slope theta C. So the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame is true. So we have to make two equilibrium equations. One equation can be made in the joint B and another equation can be made in the joint C. Now let us make the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the column AB. In the equations first let us apply the fixed end moments which are 0. Length of the column AB is 4. Let us apply that. In the point A there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta A is equal to 0. Finally, in the column AB, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the beam BC. In the equations, first let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 4. Let us apply that. Finally, in the beam BC, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the column CD. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments which are 0. Length of CD is 4. Let us apply that. In the point D, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta d will be 0. Finally, in the column CD, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the joint equilibrium equations. In the joint B, MBA plus MBC will be equal to 0. From the slope deflection equations, let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC, then we have to add them. We have to keep the numerical on the right side. Let us keep this equation as number 7. In the joint C, MCB plus MCD will be equal to 0. From the slope deflection equations, let us apply the expressions for MCB and MCD. Then we have to add them and we have to keep the numerical on the right side. Let us keep this equation as number 8. Now let us take a calculator 
and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 2, we are getting MBA. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting MBC. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 4, we are getting MCB. When we apply the value of Ea theta c in the equation number 5, we are getting MCD. And finally, when we apply the value of Ea theta c in the equation number 6, we are getting MDC. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. For MAB, we have got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MBA also, we have got a positive value. That means it is also acting in the clockwise direction. For MBC, we have got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MCB, we have got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MCD, we have got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Finally, for MDC, we have got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, let us find the reactions. First, let us find them in the column AB. When we take movement about the B, we will get HA. By applying this rule, we will get HB. Now, let us find the reactions in the beam BC. Since it is having the symmetrical loading, we can easily find VB and VC. For that, we have to multiply the UDL with the distance and then divide by 2. When we do that, we are getting VB and VC. Now, let us find the reactions in the column CD. When we take movement about D, we will get HC. By applying this rule, we will get HD. Using the loads and reactions, we can draw the shear force diagram. Using this formula, we can draw the free movement diagram. Using the direction of the movements, we can draw the end movement diagram. Then we can combine both of them so that we will get the bending movement diagram.